Today I'm here to deliver on that vision. You have no idea how much this pleases me. At long last, we're building the first high-speed rail project in our nation's history, and it started here. It's part of $8.2 billion investment we're making in 10 major rail projects across America, reaching tens of millions of people. We're putting high-speed rail on the fast track. Together, we're finally going to make high-speed rail happen between Las Vegas and Los Angeles. Some of you know what it's like to sit in traffic on interstates, not the one between here and L.A., which is real, but all interstates. And guess what? Trying to make it that drive from L.A. to Las Vegas or Las Vegas to L.A. or anywhere in between is a pain in the neck. It could take up to seven hours, but soon it's not going to be any more. We're investing $3 billion on this rail line so folks can make that trip in over just over two hours. Two hours. 186 miles an hour. And it won't just get there faster. The rail project reduces carbon emissions by three, taking three, it's the same as, as taking three million vehicles off the highway. Three million. And all the studies show, by the way, you get from, people get from point A to point B faster on a train than their car, they take the train. They take the train. Think of what that's going to mean to the environment. Think of what it will mean for the local economy. New rail line will transport 11 million passengers a year. It means jobs, union jobs. Jobs, jobs, jobs. <clears throat> I know I'm going to look like I'm 41, but I'm not new to this. Ultimately, it's going to take folks from Los Angeles through the Central Valley all the way to San Francisco for less than three hours. But today, the journey can take eight hours by bus or car. Think of how this train will transform California's Central Valley with new businesses, new residents, visitors, economic opportunities. This project in California is the most ambitious rail project in the entire Western Hemisphere. It expects to carry 31 million passengers a year, will be 100 percent powered by renewable energy. And once again, this project is about jobs. It's already created 12,000 good-paying union construction jobs, with thousands more to come. I know we're here about this project, but these projects are joined by others across the country. I made sure we had just not these two. North Carolina, Virginia, Illinois, Pennsylvania, improving rail service in Montana, Maine, New Hampshire, all the way to the Alaskan Railroad. We're supporting 69 rail projects still in the early stages across 44 states. And on top of that, we're investing $9 billion to replace over 1,000 Amtrak engines and cars across the country with scale-of-the-art equipment made in America by American workers. Made in America by American workers. It's not it's, you guys don't even realize how important you are. Let's get this done.